Well hello everybody, welcome back. I'm just uh, seeing about lining this thing up to redo this hole. It's just in the right place, I think I'm, I'm pretty close. It needs to come forward a little bit still. Loosen this one off, give us a dump. <coughs> Do, 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 do. This is what I have to do with these things sometimes. Well, because I don't have, um, like normally I'd be, this would be a blank piece of wood and I'd be doing this and it'd be fine. But because I already have a hole here, I need to try and get this to line up with the existing hole, lock everything in place and then just come straight down and in. straight down into it and get it as, uh, back in the right place as much as possible and um, so yeah, there's a lot of faffing around involved I think I'm there that's looking pretty good right, make sure this is tight around here Oosh. bit of a hassle but it works really well I mean that the hole is uh, that's pretty perfect um, this obviously this this piece here has all been rounded off uh, sandpaper on the, sandpaper on the thumb and stuff you know uh, so I still got to do all that but first there's a little chip just right there and I'm going to see if I can get my bit of mahogany and a knife and just make some that kind of fits it can sit proud that's okay as long as it kind of snug in there it'll nicely you know and I can just uh, tweak it just super glue and then tweak it that'll be fine I think I'll do that first before I do anything else just dropped the guitar there because it's nicking here so I'm just about to give it the old clothes I am and damp cloth treatment we'll see if we can do I mean I could sand that if I needed to anyway it's no huge problem but uh, this generally works really well so give that a try first wow the cloth's hot As if it was never there. Look at that. I didn't I didn't drop that at all. It's an absolute myth. It's <laughs> perfect. I'll check the rest of the guitar while I'm at it. Ha <laughs> ha 
that's that thin enough anyway. There's this, this ash. Looks like I've, it's been sawn on both sides, so I'll need to set the router table up with this um, so we can get one side flat. And then uh, once I've got one side flat, through the player, yeah, I'll go and crack on and get this set up. Cavity covered wood, just over five, and this stuff just over two millimeters for the headstocks and things. Good day. Use that melamine board stuff in the plane, and you can get it really, really thin. So, yeah, like so that's, I mean, that's like two mil. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, 1.97 to 214. Oh, this this thing's got a sniper, that's what it is. So, yeah, 2.4. 2.14 sort of millimetres, so yeah, brilliant. <laughs> anyway, stick it on, eh? That's that clamped up anyway. It won't take long to go off. I'll probably take it in the house, I'll let it get a bit of warmth in it just to help it. Um because even this time of year out here, super glue could take a little while to go off, you know. Just because it's cold, like eh. But yeah. But I'll take it in the house and I'll pop the clamps off a bit later on and then tomorrow shape all the get all the plate shaped out and stuff. I'll sort of that. And then go back to have a look at the cavity again, the control cavity and things. Yeah, yeah, I'll we'll see you in a while. I didn't press record there for some reason, but all I've done is put a bit of sawdust and super glue in this gap. It was just a little, the ebony at the front, just a little tiny slope on it. Um, so I'll just put super glue and sawdust in there. And then I'm just going to sand it all flat. It should give you a nice, nice line. And because it's ebony and ebony, it'll just disappear. The other thing I need to think about is the logo. I don't know whether to go straight in line with the tuners or I'm not sure. 
I'll have to sort of uh, figure it out really I suppose. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll take a picture of the headstock and then I'll place the logo on it and have a mess around. Stuff, I suppose. Well, I want a logo. I want, to, I want a logo for you. I'll need to have a little think. Right, so I'll take a picture of the headstock and then just position the logo on and see how it looks. What I think, you know. Because uh, I can do all sorts. It can be quite small. It doesn't have to be huge or anything, you know. It can sort of vary the size. Uh, you know, it might, it might look good with just a little logo back here somewhere. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so far so good. Looks like I'm going to have to wear my glasses for this one. Such is life. Let's see now what am I getting? I'm getting about 20... Just under 23 I think. I need 23 millimetres in the actual cavity to allow for the switch itself. What are you saying? 22.8. Oh my god. Tiny little skin then. Cavity cover time. There's a bit of snipe on the end, so I think I'll just chop that off. Just cut that bit off, I'll save a bit of fucking room later. Shabby at all. It's almost flush. Slight line though, there's a light, slight line between getting there, getting everything lined up. Um, it wasn't absolutely perfect. It was just slight. I think the template, uh, the new template's not quite exactly identical to the old one. So it's giving us a little gap. But I think most of that'll disappear with um, all the finishing work, you know, sanding and everything. Vanish. I was just marking out the uh, inside where I want all the controls and un unpressed record. For some reason, I set the camera up, but I actually pressed record. <laughs> um, I think I need to knock another millimetre or so off this as well. Um, looking at the, the three way switch, and I mean, that's Oof, barely going to make it, so I'll need to come down a bit further yet. Anyway, I'm just drilling pilot holes through, um, so I can come through from the front after.
Right, I'm gonna, obviously I'm gonna recess again. I'm gonna use this big beast of a thing, but I'm thinking what I should do is get a hole saw, cut a hole in this, cut holes in this or something, just cut a hole or whatever. So this can go in and I can actually do, and make a sort of wider bowl. Cause this does a, um, this creates kind of, not, a sort of a fairly narrow a recess, but I think it'd be better with a little bit more room um, for, for the, uh, to get your hand in on the knobs and stuff. I think it'll just be a bit nicer. Um, so yeah, 10 mil deep. That'll, that'll be good anyway. Well, that was close, that back one there, the, the template was actually moving, but I noticed it early, so it's all right, eh? You can see that it's okay. See, it's slightly back here, but, excuse me, by the time I've carved, because it's going to get a deep carve on this, a good nine millimetres anyway, and then done, sanded all the, rounding the edges off and all the rest of it, it'll never show, so that's okay. That's good. But that's giving me, the holes are about four and a half mil thick, the wood where the holes are, which is a very, it's, uh, it's more than enough. Um, generally shot bought guitars, I've seen the tops, like two or three mil thick for like the whole cavity, which seems crazy. But yeah, so this is plenty anyway. And it's only just a little small area, you know, where the actual controls are. So happy days. I know. So there we have it, here's my logo, that's where I put it, I think it looks good there. Kind of like, um, I got the idea of a fender, <laughs> I, seen it. I was just looking at images, eh? And then I've got the handmade in Scotland on the back. Put that in line with the tuners, that one. Just a tiny little logo, nothing too intrusive. But yeah, this is looking great, this is all going brilliant, that's good getting all that done. All the headstock plate on and everything, the recess is done. Um, so they're about 9mm deep. I might carve down to about uh, 10, I might go 11 mil even, I'm not sure. Because of course I've got the, I've got this thickness of this and, you know, coming down like this and then the recarve, it depends where I do it, I can do it quite close to the edge. It looks quite good actually doing it quite close to the edge around this fat area. So we'll see. Anyway, I think what I'll do to I'm going to, I'm going to mess around in here. I'll probably just do it off camera, I'm going to, there's a little sort of gap in there, I'll pack that with uh, sawdust and wood glue and stuff, fill any bits like that, and then see if I can, see if I can get a piece of ash along the top there, just a little thin strip, but I'll probably, probably just do it off camera. Uh, but yeah, I'll wrap this one up here, next video will be all about the, just getting the carve done, all about the carve. Um, and the telly, the super telly, I'm going to assemble that the weekend, we're on Thursday now, so Saturday, Sunday, I'm going to have that one done and finished. Yeah, I'm just giving the finish a chance to fully cure sort of thing, you know. Um, so yeah, and then get that built up. So that'll be good. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, 
I've been out here all day, I think, just faffing around. <laughs> so I think it's about time to call this a day now. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like, comment, etc. As usual, and I'll see you all again real soon. Cheers!